Welcome to my channel. My name is Kidana Maram from the uh, Engineering Structural Design Team. This is tutorial part one for basement plus ground plus table of apartment uh, building shown on the screen on Prota Structure uh, software. Today uh, I will show you how to define grid lines, uh, including uh, inclined grid lines, and how to draw column, how to draw beam. And uh, lastly, how to draw slab, that is a uh, solid slab, a ribbed slab, waffle slab, and flat slab. Subscribe this channel to get uh, new videos uh, daily. Uh, you can get all files of this uh, project here in the description menu. Let's uh, start. First, I have to uh, define the architectural plan of this building. The uh, architectural plan of this building uh, includes a basement floor, ground floor, first floor with uh, some open downs, and uh, there is a wall uh, here to the left, and uh, first to uh, and second to ninth typical floor, tenth floor, eleventh floor, and terrace. Section and elevation of the building uh, looks like this. I have attached this file on the description menu, so you can use it for this project. Uh, open Prota Structure and uh, click on New Model. I have to uh, first set uh, a project name that is basement plus uh, basement plus ground plus your apartment building apartment building uh, structural design structural design so I have to uh, select a code from this I have to select UK or Euro code and you can edit it further because it a building code of a uh, standard is uh, similar with that of uh, error code, not only the PAM building code of uh, standard, uh, most of the code uh, of uh, country is similar with this of uh, error code, and that is uh, from uh, driving from uh, error code, so make it okay. From here, uh, orthogonal axis uh, generator initialization box is uh, coming, so we have to uh, direction one, uh, direction one axis and direction two axis. Direction one uh, axis is nothing but it is uh, the horizontal uh, direction and direction two axis is to the vertical direction. So you have to uh, put it one by one. Go to the architectural plan. So uh, you have to put uh, direction one that is uh, the horizontal direction from bottom to top and the direction two that is the vertical direction from uh, right to left so uh, the first spacing between d to c is at 498 centimeter and have to put it in a millimeter here in prota structure so 498 comma uh, the second spacing that is between c to d 530 centimeter have to put it 530 okay in millimeter here and the last one is that between b to a 493 that is 493 in millimeter here in prota structure so uh, the second one is that uh, direction two that is from right to left so the first spacing between one to two is that 626 uh, centimeter so 626 make it in millimeter comma and the second spacing that is between 2 and 3 470 centimeter 470 have to change it to millimeter and the second the third one that is the third spacing between 3 to 4 is 404 440 centimeter and the last one is uh, 300 centimeters so uh, 
have to uh, click on OK. The grid line is uh, coming uh, like this, but uh, the name is changed. It is uh, start from uh, A, but it, uh, you have to make this D, C, uh, B, and the last one that is A to uh, make a similar arrangement in that of the architectural plan. So I uh, have to edit this, make it right click, property, and uh, edit one, that is make it E, update, okay. So you have to click on here. So make it A, update, okay. And you have to change this to D. Make it okay. So uh, you have to change this to C. Nominate as uh, any number and you have to change further. So this is B. Make it B. And you have to make this C. It. Okay, so the spacing, the no, uh, the uh, naming of uh, the grid line is correct now. So you can check it by uh, click or uh, right click here and measure the distance. That is four hundred ninety-eight. That is good. It's uh, four hundred ninety-eight. And you can check here in this, 626. That is good. So you have to uh, draw uh, inclined grid lines. Have uh, an inclined grid line uh, around this. So to draw this, uh, you have to get, uh, you have to measure first this. That is, uh, have to uh, offset this grid to 220 centimeter and simply have to draw. Click on here, right click, offset axis, for the positive x direction, and uh, shift plus uh, F2, 102. Make it in there. So I uh, have to draw a grid line starting uh, from here to here. This is so I have to delete this one. This is uh, the inclined uh, grid line, and I have to click on here and have to a chance to uh, stretch it and around here I click on here also uh, a stretch it and around it that is good so have to uh, edit its label property make it uh, for Right. That is good. This is uh, how to draw a uh, inclined grid. So you have to draw uh, all your uh, columns. The column from the architectural plan is uh, seventy by forty. Have to uh, draw this and check it uh, further on the design. So column arrangement uh, for axis one is uh, like this. And this is a so how to draw the column. Axis one and axis four are similar. So you have to uh, draw by clicking here the column. That is uh, 40 by. 700 simply 
clicking like this and here okay what about the other one okay this is and these are similar so this is and uh what about uh, around here so its orientation is changed so uh, i have to change this to uh, 7 and uh, 40 so simply have to draw like this and uh, i have a column here in this so i uh, have to uh, add some grids starting from two okay First from here to here 226 starting from axis c so click on here and you have to offset a2 by uh right by uh shift plus uh f2 and 2260 that is so i have a, a column here it's it's a, a wall but it's a similar to a column so i have to uh, draw this uh, as a column so click on this shift property similar property to this so make it okay have to draw uh, the wall have a wall uh, from here to here that is a uh, 30 uh, and 30 this is 40 so uh, go to a uh, well that is a uh, sorry and that and uh, go draw starting from here to here and uh, starting from here to here and uh, drawing click on here property that is uh, 400 the wall uh, along this so okay it is about the edge and it's about the center so it is good but i uh, have to shift this to above okay this is and you have to uh offset or stretch this to up to this so click on here property uh make it uh 100 100 update that is good and i have to uh, make it this uh, up to this that is uh half of uh 400 that is 200 so click on it make it offset so you have to write here 200 uh 200 and update that is good make it okay so uh drain colon and wall on protest structure uh, looks like this and how to uh, draw your beam so uh go to modeling beam so uh, i have to use uh 40 widths by uh 60 uh dives beam to the uh exteriors so have to draw like this have to draw starting from this to this and this proto structure uh, is simple uh, to draw so for uh, interior one have to use uh, by uh, 30 by uh, 60 that is starting from here to here here and for the internal one 
அப்புறம் இருக்கு வேர் or uh, the internal one you have to use uh, right click on it and you have to use uh, this uh, this wall so you can draw like this in similar way for this uh, axis you have to draw like this like this okay it's better to draw starting from here to here and uh, starting from here to here okay our beam uh, looks like this but uh, the column you have to uh, shift your column here the column and arrangement here so uh, this is uh, out of your boundary so click on it and shift it like this and you have to uh, shift your beams to this like this by simply clicking on it and uh, touching uh, the direction on your computer so have to shift this beam like this like this and like this so uh, our beam looks like this and you have to uh, draw uh, your slab and the next uh, part of a uh, tutorial that is a uh, tutorial part two uh, subscribe uh, this youtube channel uh, to get more uh, updated videos uh, daily thank you